Hi, Bob here. February 19th, 2014. We're going to do a little video on, on why I designed these paper lifters the way I did and how and how they possibly work. Now there's been a lot of controversy. A lot of people have shown them, but very few people explain them. One article I read, the guy was showing these levitating objects that they, they actually they were little metal tin foil, or not tin foil, well yeah, tin foil what they call electric fish at the time, and he said it would take him two pages of writing to explain them. Well, I don't know. But they certainly are unique. <clears throat> I uh, discovered them by accident uh, when I was messing with my, my electroscopes. I thought, well, because the leaves are always vertical in a normal electroscope, I thought I'd try to make an electroscope that was horizontal leaves. Like that, and uh, that's what got me onto it and playing around. And I came up with these, and I found I found out, and these are made out of well, you can see in construction, just made out of two paper cones glued together. And the one thing I found out is that the diameter of the lifter must be not be larger than the top plate like this is about six and a quarter and you could run up there but nevertheless this is a five and a half inch diameter lifter and we're running about 52 54 percent humidity actually it well, doesn't matter but in that range and you can see it lifts very easy it's using the Wimhurst as the generator the Wimhurst is, uh, I use a positive, this is a positive charge top plate, positive and a negative bottom plate. And when I first uh, discovered these things, I was using a closed chamber. There are other videos on the, in the electrostatic channel. But anyways, I found out he didn't need a huge ground. And through trial and error, you, but you got to have a good, good skirt on the top plate. There's a lot of ionization going on. And I also found out that the steeper the bottom cone angle, the easier they lift. And I'll show you, uh, I can show you some of my uh, my efforts over here. You can see I have many different sizes. Actually, this is just a fraction of what I really have. There's stuffed in boxes all over the place. And I try different things. <coughs> And I've, <clears throat> and I've tried many, many different things, but here's a, here's one with a very steep, nice 45 degree angle, really a nice easy lifter. I made them as even a steeper angle than 45. I think I've gone to 60, and I'm telling you, they're real tall. They're about eight eight inches tall, so you have to use a pretty high chamber. And then I made something. Now this one's got a very shallow bottom cone, but it works just fine. But here's one that's just a flat piece of paper, and it will not lift. It won't lift in the Wimhurst. Now, to say it won't lift is not quite true because if you apply enough potential, it'll lift. And I, there's there's a, uh, there's a, a video showing that on on this channel. So, the thing I wanted to show you, if you put one together, if you get, if you have an opportunity to play with these things, after you get it set up and you're used to operating it in the daylight, the beautiful thing is do it in total darkness. You can't believe the display it puts on. It puts on, it puts on the entire top plate, especially the circumference will glow, St. Elmo's fire, and it'll glow when you first start applying energy to the chamber, but as soon as it lifts, and that just has to lift just ever so slightly, and that'll disappear.
Now, once it goes up, there's the, you, you will see you will see a flow, a, a visible flow, of class two discharge down the center shaft. And you will also see from the edge of the bottom plate to the circumference of the lifter disc, you can all, you will also see a, a St. Elmo's fire or a class two discharge. And you'll see it, you can see the flow actually, or at least it appears to be flowing. Now, you also get an ion off the edge of the top plate. And it, it comes out the bottom of the skirt here. It'll come out this way. Now, I roll my edges down. Everybody said, well, that, and it makes them lift easier. Now, somebody suggested that the ions were causing it to, to hover between the plates. Well, you can get this to hover between the plates. It, I don't think I'm going to get there today, but because it doesn't take very much power today to much potential to. Oh come on, you! But I put this plastic clip in there to stop the travel to the top. As you notice, it'll hold it there. Sometimes quite a while, sometimes not. Depends how much you charge it up, I guess, and it holds. But while you're operating it, when it's in, when it's held in between the plates like this, you get a beautiful glow between the edge of the bottom plate and it, and and from the edge of the this all on the edges, the edge of the both plates and the lifter, and you still get the flow up and vertical on the shaft as long as you're applying power to it. It's just something that's really neat. But what is really happening, when you see that flow happening, what you've done, the top plate here, when I, as long as I've got power going on, this is negative in the top and this is positive down here. It's dipole. And it allows the current to flow between the plates, but it has to go around the lifter. And that holds it in suspension. Now, the reason the angle is important is because, remember, the when this is charged up, it also has a field, but the field is perpendicular. So if you aim the field away, it doesn't attract it to the bottom plate, so it can't pull it down. It's hard, anyhow. At least that's my explanation. Now, many people have studied this since, since, since it was in, first discovered clear back in 1740 by Mr. Benjamin Wilson, and then later on other people have done different, uh, different things, come to different conclusions. But they are a very phenomenal little thing. So we'll talk to you. Uh, the only thing I can say is go ahead, put one together, get yourself, if you hands on a Wimhurst, they'll work on a Vandy graph, but there's generally too much power. Well, all right. I wanted to try and put some explanation. I. I think they're very unique. They're very, they're very interesting to study. I still am fascinated by them. How they work, why they work, and having a hair in them ain't no good either. Ah! Well, anyways, there it is. Well, okay. We'll make it lift one more time. Charge that up. Let it sit there. It'll drop someday. All right.
I will talk to you later. Get this up there. See how it happens. Bye.